Hey guys, so I have six packs I got from Walmart, Target, and Amazon. I recently got all this stuff in the mail. If you watched the previous video of Innistrad, things went probably as poorly as I could have imagined. So hopefully this turns out to be a little bit better. Um, I might continue to open some more packs. I do have lots and lots of packs. I purchased a ton of packs recently and a ton of sealed boxes because why not? I am a game store and that is one of the benefits that you don't have to pay full retail for most of the stuff. But I didn't want to compare Walmart with Target with Amazon. So far, Walmart has been by far the worst. Uh, what I mean by far the worst, I, I mean I've opened probably over 40 packs from Walmart from either the Walmart store or ordering online. And the free packs, like the unstable free packs, the conspiracy free packs, and it is very bad. It's just very, very bad. And actually these come in free packs as well at my local Walmart. Target, um, outside of getting one Jace the Mind Sculptor, uh, it's been okay. Amazon has been okay as well, so. Let's go ahead and open and hope that we open some value. The Innistrad packs were truly terrifying. It reminds me of when I was playing Fire Emblem and for the life of me, I couldn't get the one character I really wanted. What was that character that I really wanted? Well, there's so many of them. So I was playing Fire Emblem Heroes and the character I really wanted was some uh, female princess of some type. I, I, there's so many, I forgot. And I just couldn't, for the life of me, pull her, and I just spent so much money. Oh, it wasn't even a princess, it was uh, Spring Kagoro. And I spent five, oh, no, 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 it was Motorball, okay. It was Winter Faja, I spent $550 trying to get her. And I got one. And it was Halloween, it was Halloween Naui, and then how Halloween Naui went into Winter Faja, and I got, I got boned pretty badly. All right, let's see what we got. We got Ambassador Oak, always a good card to get. Epic Confrontation, not really an epic card. Murder. So the one thing about Masters 25 I like is the little symbol on the end, like this little symbol. I think that's pretty cool, the first time it appeared. Now, do I wish that there were better cards in the set? Yes, the cards in the set are very, very bad. Ishan Shade. Oh, they changed this into a knight. This didn't used to be a knight. I think it was just a shade. Natoku. Onslaught. Onslaught was such a bad set, minus the fetch lands. Fiercely Empath. Oh, it's Walmart. Oh, Walmart. Fucking Walmart. <laughs> okay, I'm not buying any more packs from Walmart. That's, that's it. That's it. No more Walmart. No more. I've had enough. My gosh, common. I mean, maybe Cultivate Foil is worth some money, but I, I mean, I doubt it because again, you get a foil in every single pack. All right, Walmart, you have one chance to redeem yourself. That was literally, I mean, why would they put this in the set? It doesn't make any sense. Like what percentage of the population is hoping to get? So like the card doesn't have to be super valuable, right? It could just be a good card, like a fun card. This card is just not fun, and is this Dragon Maze? I think it's Dragon Maze. Um, Crimson Maids, Savannah Lion, um, something something, so a wolf, a low from Urza Saga, I do like that. This dude from Descension, this dude from Scourge, this dude from Time Shift. Okay, well, on commons now. Guild Pack, I think this is Guild Pack. Scars of Meriden. Okay, come on. Pla okay, so that is a, that's like a dollar. This card used to be like eight dollars. You guys know this until it was reprinted until Oblivion. Oh my gosh, what the blank is this? Oh my gosh. That was twenty dollars down the drain. <laughs> F you Walmart, F you Walmart. Jeez, like Walmart has I probably put in a good $300 in a Walmart product recently. 
and my return has been less than $30. Like this is truly horrifying. I know it is Halloween. So if you guys wanna be horr horrified, this is from Target. Uh, Target, I did pull to Jace. So I am happy. I, I think I'm plussing on Target, but definitely Walmart has dragged everything down to oblivion. Cloud Shift, Urgba Raiders from Arabian Nice. Oh, nice. Dragon Eye Servant, Path of Peace from Portal. Is that Portal? I think it is. Dark Ritual is probably worth a buck. Okay, I'll put that out there. Already wore a head. Uh, this guy from Nemesis, Uncommon. Gonju, Betrayers. Chewbacca, Ixlon. I forgot they have Ixlon cards. Makes sense. Flash. Uh, not entirely sure how much money this is, but I'm guessing it is not a ton. And uh, pacifism. God, the money is getting burnt uh, quite quick quickly. So, flash. I mean, it's a good card. I don't think it's worth any money. All right. Forty dollars in, and we have hit <laughs> hit nothing. I'm not going to lie to you. This has been the worst. So for me, for you guys, um, you probably see like two separate videos. You see one for Innistrad, and you see one for this. But for me, I've just been opening packs this entire time for over an hour, and things have been going poorly. Okay, cultivate. That's probably worth a little bit of money. God, when, once you um. Once you start in mobile games, when you're starting to check like your percentage to see like your pity breakers, that's when you know things have gotten bad. And when you're putting cultivate, a non-foil cultivate in your pile of good cards in a master set, that's when you know things have gone very poorly. Ooh, uh, Street Wraith. That is worth some money. Uh, boar. Street Wraith, a com oh, it's uncommon. And we got, oh, gee. And a disenchant. So, Street Wraith used to be a $10 common. Did you notice? In Modern Masters 1, it was $10 and it was a common. So this is what we got. We got a, uh, a Night Lord and a Street Wraith and that was it. All right, Amazon, please Amazon, save me. Okay. All right. I don't know what's going on today. Like, it's maybe because I was being too mean to the wedge, and the way I was too mean to the wedge, and now I'm being punished by karma. And yes, I do believe in karma, and I have acted very poorly recently. So therefore, these packs have treated me incredibly poorly, as well as Fire Emblem. Oh, that's a morph card. Probably more valuable than what else. <laughs> Again, this is one of the most interesting cards in the history of Magic. It was considered the best creature of Magic when I was playing. Uh, it made many people quit Magic during this time, and Alliance and Ice Age was not a heyday of Magic. In fact, the majority of people were quitting during this time, which meant, meant that when you bought a collection, you would get 20 Force of Wales because it was uncommon. This card was about $15, $20 when Force of Wales was like 2 to $3. You could trade one of these for a playset of Force of Wells, and people would say that the person who traded Force of Wells was ripping off the person trading the hordes. Low, Anella Murder, uh, Victor from Origins, Zendikar, Invigorate, Slow Row. It's a, it's a land? I don't think there's any good land in this set. Oh, it's the uh, Rugged Prairies, of course. And Diabotic Edict. I think the Edict is more than the Prairie. So let me think about the Edict for a moment. The Edict is very interesting because it's a popper card, isn't it? It's a common here. It is a common. No, is, it, is this the one that's valuable in popper? 
Okay, so maybe that foil is worth money. And maybe we finally made back $10 from that pack. But we're overall, we're still down. This is 60 plus dollars that we spent. And things have turned for the better, I hope. 60 plus, I, I'm almost certain that this card might be worth a lot more money than you think it is. I'm trying to remember if this is the right edict. So Popper, no, it's not the right one. Chainer's Edict is the expensive one. I'm thinking of Chainer's Edict. I know because I own lots of them. Popper has been a blessing for me. It means all these crappy commons I have now can be sold for expensive prices. But unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately Diabolic Edict is not the one that you want. Uh, this one was downgraded from a rare. Boros Charm, that's worth some money. And we got a blue. Uh, another Jace. Let's see, what's in blue? Jace. Yeah, I think it's Jace and Bust. Oh, Pack of Negation. Oh, I forgot about this card. This card is definitely worth over $10, I'm almost sure. And please, Foil Jace. Let's slow roll it. It's a 2-1 from Jackal Pup. Okay, all right, whatever. So, Amazon wins this time, as it always does. And we did pretty well on our Amazon packs. Like we got a, a one of these lands. I forget what, it's filter lands. We got a pack of negation, and we got uh, okay stuff. So Amazon, we did I mean, it could be better, but it also, as we saw, could be worse. We got a Knight, a Foil Disenchant, a Street Wraith, probably the most valuable card in this pack. Cultivate, Pacifism, Flask, and a Dark Ritual. Okay, and then Blanking Walmart. Okay, I still have to make some Walmart videos because I, I bought more packs from Walmart, but I really don't want to open them anymore. Uh, swords. Rick for Cultivate. Uh, so if I had to give you one piece of advice, do not buy loose packs, especially do not buy from Walmart. But that being said, we are going to open more packs. Bye guys.